Hey, Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com, and I'm happy to teach another song. I was getting some requests for this recently on my, you know, guitar friend list. And, uh, let's see. This is one of the first, like, really cool songs I learned on acoustic guitar that I thought, wow, that sounds so cool, and it's not as hard as it sounds, but it's really pretty sound. It uses some kind of specialized chords. So let me show you what we're doing. The first chord is an E major chord, um, but what what I'd recommend you do is, for this particular song, go like this. Um, put your ring finger right there, and your pinky right there, and then your middle finger right there. So in other words, instead of playing it this way, I'm playing it um, this way. Just like that. You strum the whole guitar, and that's the rhythm we're going to do for the whole first section. So we're going to do that rhythm pattern. One time on that E chord. Then I'm going to take the little cluster of my pinky and ring finger and slide it up a whole step. So now these are on the fourth fret. And no more middle finger. And then we're going to take it and put that first finger, the index finger, on the second fret of the G string. So now it looks like this. And you strum the whole guitar. And what we're doing, we're in the key, what's called the key of E major. So, um, the open E string always is in that key, and the B, open B string and the open E string are always in that, in that key too. So what we're doing is we're actually taking what's called an F sharp minor chord, which is part of the key of E major, and then um, we're going to play it as a slash chord with the E in the bass, and the B in the high E on top of the sound, and then this note right here. So it's really coming, we could call this um, F sharp minor over E. But you know, it's that's just a formality. So it's this chord though. Beautiful, awesome sounding chord. You just strum the whole thing. And then you slide that whole chord shape up a whole step. And now we just call that G sharp minor over E. And then back down to the F sharp minor. And that's the whole main section of the song with that rhythm pattern one time for each chord. Check it out. Remember when I was working out those chords, I wasn't able to, um, you know, coordinate everything at once. So what you could do is you could go like this, you know, just one strum each, like that. You could do, you could do that. Build, your, build it up to that point. talk about a couple other parts. Um, basically it does that part, it builds up for a while, and then it goes into um, a chord sequence that's basically climbing up the key more or less. So it starts with an A major, B minor,
move that up a whole step, and that's called C sharp minor. Then a D major chord. So let me show you that part. Um, let's see here. Then we're going to do the E sequence. We're going to play it the same way. Same second F sharp chord, and then the G sharp chord to A. So here's all that. A, D minor, G, and C sharp minor, D, E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor. goes to a C chord. One and two and three and four and B major. And if you can't play a regular B bar chord major, this would be cool. First finger there, ring finger there, pinky right there. And you can let the, the, the B and high E ring out open. And it starts over. section happens from this F sharp. So on, those are the two sections. Um, now there is a bridge. <laughs> 